for liberal enough definitions of well, for penny do wood. Waking up on the other side, walking among the ghosts of her town, Penny stumbled into death himself. He was, in her estimation, a nice enough guy. Perhaps a little on the bony side, but soon a grave misunderstanding led Penny to replacing him as his temp. With a new job, Penny had landed on her feet, metaphorically speaking only, of course, which left death free to take a vacation. To the moon, of course. It was the only place nearby where nobody had died. Yet, Penny found herself with a chic new wardrobe, a broken yet impressive-looking scythe, and a strange new ability, the power to possess the living and control their bodies. With it, Penny could help the ghosts in the afterlife with their problems, finishing any unfinished business they still had. Penny soon discovered she had a real knack for this sort of problem-solving, and was just settling into her new job, when something very strange happened, and the life, or rather afterlife, of Penny Dowood would never be the same. Yes, sweetie. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know. What? Oh, come on, Harold, I'm trying. Baby, I'd like to give you a really good time on my wow. But that's that's my buddy, dang it! Hey, hey! I'd recognize it anywhere! But who is that then? And why am I talking to a skull? What is she doing with my body? We just need a little bit more, my love. I've got to get into that weird biker club. My body's in there and I don't know what it's getting up to. Over here, sugar. Name's Jenny, but all my friends call me Junkyard. Uh, hi, Junkyard. I'm Penny. Listen, Pen. Word on the street says you want to get into the biker club, yeah? Actually, it's Penny, not Pen. And yeah, I would. Yep, used to go there all the time, Penny. Till I had me accident. Turns out riding motorbikes without a helmet is extremely dangerous. And strong airspray doesn't serve as a function in helmet. The wanted labels didn't lie. So you died. Died. Heh, <laughs> good one, Pen. Nah, I'm way too tough for that. Just in a coma. Here, check it out. Hello, anybody home? Wake up, sleepy cheeks! <laughs> See? Coma City. Way I figure. The only way I'll wake up is if I can get my sweet bod back on my sweet bike. You want to do me a favor, Pen? Penny. That's a weird way to say yes, but I'll take it, sugar. You know that if you don't buy expensive clothes, then you could spend that money on ice cream? <laughs> Another amazing sir! Excuse me, uh, sir? Sir? <laughs> Please, 
call me Captain Grand Slam. On account of my powerful serving arm, which I can handily demonstrate by sending these cannonballs flying. You know, I could leave here if my descendant wasn't such a wimpy armed wimp with a wimpy arm. Your descendant has a wimpy arm? Yes, the wimpiest. I thought with my arm, my kids would have every limb covered in muscles. But turns out human genetics is much more complex than I thought, which I would have realized if I'd studied genetics more instead of hitting cannonballs with a tennis racket my entire life. But even so, no regrets. And I say, it was thee who erred in the fight with the Dread Sea Beast. Again, sir. We've been stuck inside a whale having this argument for literally hundreds of years. I am happy to accept the blame if only to end this debate. Fie, tis not a true admission of guilt, my servant. Okay, yes. About that. I have always saw us being more partners than anything else. Especially considering how I carry all the equipment. Carry it right to our dooms, you mean? To think of my noble bones inside that... that filthy beast as their final resting place. Why, tis unthinkable. I shall not think it, Squire. <sighs> Nobody asks you to, sir.
I'm Penny, and I'm here to help. Wow. Wow. Calling me whale like I'm just a... a piece of meat to you. Wow. No, 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 no. Don't be mad. I'm sorry. I just... And since when has my own subconscious referred to itself as Penny anyway? <laughs> Man, I have had bones stuck in my blowhole for far too long. Maybe blow them out? You think I haven't been trying, subconscious? Pay attention! You know what'd be great? Running! Mm, nope. Please, cat, just for a bit. Nope. You see, this is why people get dogs! <laughs> hey! Hey, uh. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing more evil than poking things. Hey! Don't poke things anymore! <laughs> Be gone, unwanted thoughts! I will poke this world until the day I die! Nice <laughs> to meet you! Hi, I... Oh, chill, my muse speaks to me. Lay it on me, muse. You need some jazz? I'm your man. Great, but I don't think I need any jazz. Anything else you can do? I blow into my horn, man. I'm only good for sweet licks and possibly filling extremely large things with air. As my muse, you should be totally hip to that. Pfft, I'm hip. I'm hip. I'm definitely hip. Oh, where's this go? Oh, that's some nice poking right there. Whoa, whoa, hey, yo! Ooh. Hey, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, that's the stuff. Oh, that's some nice poking right there. Oh. What the poke is wrong with you? Did I ever poke to you? Oh, what's the point? Even if I hit the ball well, it's just gonna be returned to me for me to hit it again. It's so pointless. Bjorn, cheer up! You can be better at tennis if you believe in yourself. Ha <laughs> ha, nope. The only way to get better at tennis is practice. And also being born with an amazing body doesn't hurt. Okay, true. But all athletes know the horrible secret of physical fitness. Practice is boring! The only way you'll actually do it is if you believe it's worthwhile, i.e., if you believe in yourself. That's... that's right, actually. I should believe in myself. I feel a bit better already. Legs surging with power. Arms suddenly feel more skilled. Tennis, no longer the paragon of endless depression it once was. Watch out, world! I'm gonna take tennis and turn it all the way up to 11 -ish. Damn 
damn bird. You poop in my pot, you start a war. And I'll be the one who ends it. Don't test me, bird. War is hell, and I'm about to bring one right to you. You think this gun is just for show, boy? Fires meatballs at 3,500 rounds per minute. And that's more than enough to turn you into lasagna. One of these days, I'm gonna kill that bird. Or build a roof over my giant pot of spaghetti and meatballs. And I don't particularly care which one it is! Und ich kann dazu sagen, diese Serie ja. eigentlich von äh, 1997 bis 2003 und hat, weiß ich nicht fest. Ha! I am good at tennis. I am gonna go out there and this practice. This is pretty much the best ice cream I've ever eaten. Okay. Oh. Oh. Top 10. Mm, easy. I knew this is how it was going to end. Bjorn, cheer up! I'd love to lend you a hand. I know there's something in my grave behind here that might be just what the doctor ordered. Hello there, I'm Penny and I... Hi, hi, I'm Sally. Are you my brain? Hi, I like to poop. Hi. No, well, kinda. See... Hi, brain, I'm Sally. I'm a seagull who likes to poop. Hi. Yes, I gathered that. And what I'd like to talk about is... Hi, I'm Sally. Are you my brain? I like to poop. Never mind. Poop, Sally! Oh, my giant so pot of spaghetti and meatballs, and I don't particularly ah! care which one it is. Right Dang! No, if that window was open, I could easily get Junkyard's body no, through it. But the window's it, way too it, solid. No, stop it! Stop that right now! Man, having a mouth that can only say caw, and a brain that can appreciate all the finest beauty in the world would be frustrating. But who am I to complain? I get to eat rotten meat? You understand English? What was that in her voice? You sounded like a human just now, instead of a vulture, which is what I am. Uh, car? <gasps> in her voice? You say the dirtiest things. I'm not complaining. Yes, let us fly around here for a bit. Maybe there's some flesh to eat. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! You might as well give up, Bjorn. You'll never... <laughs> <laughs> Why did I take up the family business of tennis? Yeah, I could have done anything easier. Ah! 
Is there anything better than pulling flesh from bone? For a vulture? No. And we are not complaining. Yes, let us fly around here for a bit. Maybe there's some flesh to eat. Never be as good at tennis as your mother, or her mother, or her father, or his father, or really anyone who is frankly remarkable fan of tennis players. Nope. Is there anything better than pulling flesh from bone? For a vulture? No. And we are not complaining. Let's fly around here for a bit. Maybe there's some flesh to eat. Pretty much the best ice cream. I just wanted to eat ice cream. <laughs> this is pretty much the best ice cream I've ever eaten. <laughs> Best at naming ice cream flavors. I can name 50 of them, no problem, including two secret flavors from the government. What are the secret government? <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, Everyone, my legs have been possessed by a vengeful ice cream so cone. Worthless. Everyone, I know I said that before as a joke, but I really mean it this time. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, quit it! Who hey, quit it?
ne? weil AT&T ist ja auch mittlerweile, sag ich mal, was Rechte angeht. See, this is why people don't like the police. They're always... Hey. 